Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a really nice technology all around. This is the Asus ZenBook 14X OLED Space Edition. We have talked about here on the channel, so I will not waste too much of your time. I will leave a link right over here just in case you want to check that out. On this side, I've got the Akitu Enclosure Thunderbolt 3 and also the KFA 3080 GPU right over here so links down below for everything and we are going to take a look why I do believe that this is a perfect machine to be able to use an external GPU and I'm going to share with you how we will be able to get 15 frames per second on just cause 4 up to 90 frames per second or even 120 frames per second we are going to check all that now besides the design that we already have seen it is the space edition looks really awesome it is a lightweight laptop really thin 1.4 kilos ultrabook so we can take it anywhere and it doesn't have a dedicated gpu that's the only limitation that we will find on this machine right over here and unlike the asus dash f15 with the dedicated gpu 3070 that we have seen right over here and it was not worth it to use an external gpu this one right over here is completely worth it it's a gorgeous oled display 14 inches 2.8 which is a resolution of 2880 by 1800 at 90 hertz it has this small display zen vision 3.5 inches which we can customize with anything that we want it also has the asus ErgoSense with a fingerprint sensor the trackpad it's great it has a really nice size and it's precise and on the inside it's as good as better than on the outside it has a 9.9 12900h with 14 cores and 20 threads 32 gigabytes of ram and one terabyte of ssd nvme pci 4.0 in terms of speeds it was giving me 4000 on reads and 5000 megabytes on writes but i was watching and we could observe speeds up to 6000 and something megabytes per second so just have that in mind uh, wi-fi 6 so we will get roughly 5000 megabits per second on download and 100 on upload which is the maximum of my connection and then in terms of connectivity we will find two thunderbolt 4 which is what will be able to let us connect a external gpu right over here through a thunderbolt cable we also have an hdmi port and usb type a and audio out so this computer has everything everything that is required to be a machine that we can expand on the immediate or in the future and in terms of the expansion not only external gpus but any fast ssd any fast any other device that we need we will be able to but today we are focusing on graphics now just in terms of comparison i use a macbook pro with the m1 pro and if we compare um, the asus with the m1 pro and even with my mac studio we will see that it is on par with the m1 pro a little below with the mac studio but in terms of graphics um, it will give me a score of 20,000 on this one right over here and on the M1 Pro it's superior so it will give me 35,000 almost double and the Mac Studio is giving me 50,000 on compute score so all of them are superior to this one having in mind that the M1 Pro and the Mac Studio are more expensive than this 400 euros difference at the time of the recording if we use the 3080 with the asus then we will get a different score of 184,660, and that's a huge number just for comparison now in the past one of the things that i loved on apple was the ability to use thunderbolt 2 unofficially thunderbolt 3 and right now we can't expand with external gpus and that's a bummer because it's something that i really love but with the asus we can the advantages on this side right over here which will give us the ability to expand now just to wrap up in terms of cpu and to compare with other machines cinebench is a pleasure to see it rendering in terms of results right over there so you can compare with other devices graphics wise i did test out in three different ways first of all the asus by its own and then the asus with the external gpu but with the internal 
um, display and then with the external GPU and with an external display and it will make a difference. I did start out with a, a benchmark 3D Mark score. If we take a look on the ASUS by itself, 1948 on the overall score. But if we see the estimate on the Battlefield, Apex Legends, GTA 5, Fortnite and Red Redemption 2, we will see that this computer is not appropriate for that type of gaming. It will give us really low results. When we move to 3D Mark uh, with the external GPU but with the internal display, we will get a score of 8573. And in terms of the estimates, it will ramp up quite a bit. We will get numbers that are actually playable. But when we move to the external display, we will get even a stronger score, 13,103. And if we take a look at the estimates, are even better. Now, why is this difference? Most of you already know, but if some don't, this is really simple to explain. We have one cable, Thunderbolt 3 right over here. We have Thunderbolt 4 on the ASUS, Thunderbolt 3 on the external GPU. And when we use the internal display, what happens is that we have this connection and the data will go from one side to the other, processing all the textures and communicating between the GPU and the CPU and the display. So the cable, which will support up to 40 gigabits, will be bottleneck with all this communication and we will not be able to take full advantage of the 3080. So this is why we have a big difference when we look at the external display. In the external display, the communication will start on the laptop, will go to the GPU and then to the external display. And this makes a big difference. Actually, there will be always communication coming both ways, but not as much as when we use the internal display. Now moving to the uh, the benchmark that I did was superposition and we can see that just the laptop on its own was giving 2200 on score and uh, 16 frames per second average. If we move to the 3080 with the internal display we will get 11,795 with an average frames per second of 89. And if we move to the external display a score of 23,000 with a average frames per second of 172. So that's a really interesting result. And probably it will happen in some cases in real life, but the game that I did test out was Just Cause 4 and it did not work as Superposition did. Nonetheless, there will be games that, according to the technology of that game and the way that the GPU will work with that game, it might be possible to double. In this particular case, what happened is that with the laptop on its own, I was getting 15 frames per second, and it's not playable, of course. We have a terrible experience, which is not a surprise. Any laptop that doesn't have a dedicated GPU will have this kind of result. When we do with the 3080, but using the internal display, Something really funny is that we were getting 90 frames per second, which is great as we have a 90 hertz refresh rate on the display. So the experience was really awesome. We can actually play a game like this. It is a pleasure to play like this. And it's a huge difference when you come from 15 frames per second to 90 on the same machine is just awesome. If we plug in an external display through DisplayPort, which was what I did, we get 120 frames per second, no issues whatsoever, playing just cause 4 and it's even better because we can see the difference between 15 frames per second and 120 frames per second. So these are the results which in my opinion makes this computer the perfect machine to be used on an external GPU such as this one. Of course, I'm using a 3080 but the advantage of this system is that Tomorrow, I can just sell the 3080 and purchase a 4080 or something like that, which at the moment of the recording is still not available. But if you don't want the 3080 and you are enough with the 3060 Ti, select which GPU you want. And this is the beauty of things. We are not limited. We have a great machine and a great expansion possibility to be able to have a great setup. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.